And I should do it gentle when I shake them. Yes. Now you can see that our our friends have left the confines of their oh, oh, oh. Uh, without shaking them. <laughs> I've left the confines of the nest and uh, uh, have uh, re regrouped on a limb here. Since they lack, um, since they no longer have any honey or brood to protect, they're they're quite yeah. docile. Uh, Nostrali is getting getting used to the idea of, of working with swarms during the day. It's not something that he's really used to. So we're walking through a uh, new experience. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, shake the bees onto a piece of cardboard and then let the bees climb into the top bar hive and uh, look for the queen in the process. Uh, because, the, because the queen because we couldn't get a hold of the queen uh, when we were doing the transfer, uh, it's uh, the the bees were were disinclined to stay in the in the hive that we had uh, transferred their comb into. So what we've done now is we've shaken the bees into this cardboard basket, and we're allowing them to crawl up into the. Uh, up into the hive, and we're looking for the queen as we do so. And uh, as you can imagine, it's kind of a challenge with this massive, with this massive bees to try and bubble bee. But uh, our our quest is aided by the fact that the queen is lighter in color and uh, slightly larger than the worker bees. So we're we're hoping for the best. Okay, well, it took some doing, <laughs> but uh, I found the uh, found the queen. There she is. There. Good, 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 good. African queen. So I'm going to put her into a queen cage, and uh, then we'll put her into the um, put her into the um, hive. Can you? Uh, that's it. She's down. Yeah, and then. One more time. Maybe come around on this side. Okay. Very good. Yeah. And this is the king cage. You can unwatch it. Okay. What I've done here is I've punched the hole, punched some holes into a. Um, into a can of an empty can of Milo, put in some sugar syrup, and now if we flip it upside down, Doctor, if you would flip it completely upside down, I should do. Yeah, flip it up. See how it stops. Yeah. Once the once the uh, uh, air pressure inside equalizes, it forms a natural vacuum, and the bee it'll only come out when the bees suck at the holes. So we're going to put that into the hive now. So that it uh, stays level. Move the sticks around if need be. Okay, I guess just the two should be fine. That's the fine. Two will be fine. Yeah. So that'll encourage them to stay stay a bit more. Now I've seen the bees have clumped on the outside. Mm -hmm. yeah, but they're starting to go in. We found the queen. Ali, if you could um, mm -hmm. put the top bars back on. This bees. I'm grabbing a little bit of lemongrass and they are coming at the towards. hive entrance. Yeah. They are coming towards. And you can see that they're seeming to be quite attracted to it. And then once they get up there, then they yeah, should be able to find their way into the nest to find the queen. Then I should I bring their leaves and cover? Yes, please. Sure, please. Seen them there again? Yeah, they might have. Um, they're starting to. They're starting to crawl into the oh, yeah, into the yeah. hive now. Yeah. 
you can see where the swarm had previously been occupying the uh, the tree. There's little bits of wax where they'd started Good some lift. some comb construction, and um, now there are no bees at that location. Some, once in a while, you'll you'll find that bees will uh, bees will continue to hover around where they've been staging their swarm because there's a little bit of residue of queen, queen substance. So we're just going to leave, leave our bee cistern.